Welcome back to another painting session. We will be doing another plant themed painting. It's just like the last one, as I told you. I'll be working on this one. Now, I do not know the type of plant it is, but it is similar to uh, feather grass, tall grass um, with feather type edges for them. <clears throat> I'll be working with those. They are almost golden yellow in color. And I think I'll I think I'll do pretty good on them. Two mountains up top, kind of covering a sunrise with plains and cliffs for the landscape. Three planets, two planets feature on the sketch, but I moved it to three for it to be a bit more complicated in the sky. I'll have a gradient with yellow in the center and orange, even brown up top for a darker sky. The land will be less yellow, there'll be a bit more orange and brown in there. As uh, I will not be making the same mistake I have with the previous painting where this one was much too tan. Um, and like basically the same color. I'll be, I will not be making the same mistake. It'll be much more dynamic in color. So yeah, that's the game plan. Plants should be okay. The roots of them might cause an issue, but other than that, I should be fine. And that should be it for the introduction to all of this. If you do like these type of videos, do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't seen the other videos, they will be in the channel, of course. I do recommend that you see them all, as it will have a good explanation of why I'm doing this and what my other paintings in the same series have looked like. And if you have enjoyed this video by the end, like it. If you don't, dislike it. And I do recommend, heavily recommend that you all comment on what you like, what you don't like, so I could get some feedback on what to do for the future. And with that out of the way, I'll now start the painting. I hope that all of you Enjoy.
the finished product. I think suffice it to say, although it's a very long video, I am very proud of the outcome, a far cry of the dis disappointment that was the last painting. Just give me a moment while I push the chair back. There we go. I'll let y'all look at the sketch. I did have to change some things, like uh, the planets, for example, the layout of the hills, and how many cliff edges there were. But everything else, I stayed pretty faithful to the sketch. Maybe the mountains changed to be a bit more lengthy, uh, a bit taller, but that's fine. <clears throat> it does look more orange in person, and it will let y'all know that. So one thing I don't really like about the phone is it can't really pick up much in terms of dynamic color like this. So other times it does pretty well, but this, not so much. Yeah, there's more orange where it looks like brown. That's orange. I ain't got a blind too. It's, unfortunately, it's just the phone. So I will let y'all have a look. I did not have a gloss coat as I did not need one for the desired aesthetic and I think that did perfectly fine especially because I have gold along with this if y'all were paying attention and if you have known what happens when gold or metal paint comes into contact to a gloss cover it significantly reduces its effect so I opted to not have that gloss coat to um, disregard all the progress I have made using the gold paint, which I think using that as a touch-up was a very, very great idea, as it complements very well with the landscape. I just, I think it's fine having it just in the land, not everything else, like I would have been if I had it, um, excuse me, if I have had that decision made earlier to use gold paint. This one is where it really sparks up. I did incorporate it a little bit into the land itself to add a little bit of texture. Let me see much. It's too be fair, I didn't use a lot of cold paint on it. That's the best y'all can get. Yeah, using it for the plants, very good. Not only does it make the desired color of what these plants would have looked like, uh, it, it wasn't as yellow as this. It came into memory um, that it is a bit lighter than this. Than that, my bad. It looked like this. So I think for the plants, I, I think I did very, very well with um, the feather grass, even though that's not what's around here that inspired this, but good idea but this was a very very long video compared to my other ones of course it's a breeze for y'all because it's just time lapsed for me that's that's quite a bit of time three five hours straight just painting so do excuse me if i seem a bit tired that's because i am quite tired yeah i think it's good I'm very very happy with it Sketch again. Painting. Sketch. Painting. And that about wraps it up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed tonight's painting session as much as I have, even though it has taken quite some time for me and a little bit longer for you all. I hope that you have enjoyed it nonetheless. And I hope that the next painting will be of the utmost quality, as I believe this one has. And 
talking about that. Which one would it be? Would it be clover or oh, okay. It is aloe vera. This might need a few touch-ups and a sketch. But yeah, this is the rough sketch. Hoping you all look forward to it. Yep, that's what's planned. I hope that again all of you have enjoyed tonight's painting session. If you have if you have enjoyed the painting, uh, like the video. If you didn't like it, dislike it accordingly. If you have any comments, criticisms, compliments, what have you, then do please share them as it does help me to have feedback to become a better um, painter and I'll get better at making videos. Um, so you can compliments or criticize the video process, editing as in what that there is, and the painting itself. Of course, if you like what I do, spray painting, you know, obvious, then don't feel shy to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button if you so are in so inclined, <clears throat> because I'm quite tired. Uh, as I do do this about, I do I try to upload every day, but it's mainly shorts. But the main videos like this, I do plan for them to get out two to three days. So that's the type of schedule that I'm on. They're pretty frequent. So hitting that bell button will ensure that you will have top notifications for that time whenever that happens. And with that out of the way, that lengthy outro. Again, I hope that all of you have enjoyed tonight's painting session. And again, I do hope to see you all on that next painting, whatever that may be. Good night.